Okay, now we're going to learn about a process called completing the square. Notice that x squared plus 2x plus 1 factors as x plus 1 quantity squared. And this square is called a perfect square. Unfortunately, not everything is a perfect square. For example, x squared plus 2x plus 2 is not a perfect square. But if we perform some clever rearranging, we're able to recognize the first expression, which was a perfect square. We bring down that plus 1 to find that we have written x squared plus 2x plus 2 as x plus 1 quantity squared plus 1, which is almost a perfect square. Writing a quadratic expression as almost a perfect square, as we just did, is called completing the square. Next, we will learn a process to complete the square for any quadratic expression. As an example, we'll consider x squared plus 6x plus 4. Locate the coefficient in front of x. Divide this number by 2, and then square the result. In this case, we get 9. Next, rewrite the expression, but leave some space. Take that number we just found, which was 9, and write plus 9 minus 9 in the gap we left. It's important to notice that we actually haven't changed the expression, since 9 minus 9 cancels out to give 0. All we're doing is rearranging the numbers to help us find a perfect square. And the reason we needed 9 is because x squared plus 6x plus 9 is a perfect square. We tack on that minus 5, and then we will find that we have rewritten x squared plus 6x plus 4 as x plus 3 quantity squared minus 5, which is almost a perfect square. There's also a quick check you can do during this process. That number in your perfect square is actually the same number that you squared earlier to find 9. Finally, we will learn how to complete the square if the x squared term has a coefficient other than 1. In this example, we must factor out 2 from all the coefficients before completing the square. Now we're able to perform the process outlined on the previous slide. We start by locating the coefficient of x, divide that by 2, and square it to get 1. Rewrite the expression with a space so that we can put our plus 1 minus 1. To emphasize again, this actually doesn't change the expression, it's just a clever rearrangement. And this helps because x squared plus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square. Then we combine the constants, and don't forget that this entire thing is still being multiplied by 2. Now we can distribute the 2 in order to simplify a little bit. Note that because of the exponent, that 2 stays multiplied in front of x plus 1 quantity squared and does not make its way inside those parentheses. As before, we've rewritten our expression as almost a perfect square. And now it's your turn to practice the process of completing the square.